Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful bright summer makeup. I used the BH Hollywood palette from BH Cosmetics. This is just a super cute, really handy little palette to use. I use like the pink and the purple and the silver and the white out of here and it comes with uh, three blushes and a highlight as well which is really neat and it just it's all magnetized which I really really like too so if you want to see how to get this look then just keep on watching so I already did my eyebrows you'll see why in a minute I don't have any tape with me so we're gonna try the new post-it method that I'm uh, gonna do here I'm going to put a post-it on the side of my eye here because I want a really crisp line so I'm gonna angle it from the bottom of my lash line up towards my brow and hopefully this isn't too uncomfortable I look a little strange but you'll see why so see how I have that angle like right up towards my brow we want the exact same thing on the other side now like that this is actually hilarious I hope this stays on I'm first gonna go in with my Sigma eye base this is in the shade uh, bear persuade I love this thing it's a lot like the Mac paint pot in Pagerly um, it's just super creamy and I really love it so I'm just gonna take that on my finger and put that all over my eyelid oh my gosh it sounds like I have a cold I'm gonna take it right up to the brow too oh I hope it stays on hold it okay so I ripped them so they're a little bit smaller and not like flailing off my face. I'm gonna go in with my Naked Basic palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Naked 2, which is right there. This is just a nice neutral shading color for in my crease. And I'm just gonna define my crease a little bit with it. And I'm using this giant fluffy brush for that. So just right into my crease with this. So there's now just a little bit of depth there and that's what I was wanting. Oh, I also have a giant sit right here, so you're welcome for having to look at that for like 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Hollywood palette today. This is a really neat palette. I got a little sample of this from my Beauty Box 5 box um, last month, the month before last month uh, in the April box. And this is just the neatest little palette. It has a whole bunch of different eyeshadows. And then you open up the middle and then there's a ton of blushes as well, which is really neat. Nice little handy dandy palette. So I'm gonna be using some really fun and bright colors from this. So we're gonna be taking a really fluffy brush and I'm going to be going in with this pink color right down here. It does not have a name, unfortunately, but it's just like a super bright color. Oh my gosh, these eyeshadows are so pigmented. So I have a little bit of that on my brush and now I'm just gonna kind of windshield wiper that into my actual crease. And then once I have both of those creases on, I'm just going to keep building up the color on the outside here so it's like super super big and just dragging it in a little bit. Now from the other side of this palette, I'm going to be taking this beautiful dark purple color and running that on my eyelid. So I'm just going to use the exact same brush and just give it a good dip in there. So I'm just going to begin just like patting this onto my eyelid and then we're going to blend up. And I'm only going to go on the outer like half of my eyelid and then blend it into the crease and kind of go a little bit further than that. <laughs> And then once that purple is as pigmented as I want it, I'm just gonna blend the pink and the purple together. And I only have the purple on one side of my brush, so this is kind of working in my favor here to blend them together. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush and go over that and kind of just, again, blend it all together. And I'm leaving an empty space right here because I'm gonna put another eyeshadow there. Making it all seamless and nice looking. So I'm just packing it on. If you want to switch to a flat shader brush, you can because that will deposit more eyeshadow. And then blending them all together. And bringing the purple kind of in the inner corner as well. And now I'm going to go back with a little bit of that pink and just 
press it on here a little bit more. Just like so. Just to like oomph up the vibrant. So now I'm gonna go in with this silver color just on a flat shader brush. And I'm gonna place it all over where I hadn't placed any eyeshadow before. Now, if you weren't doing what I was, am going to do, you could put a white base under there and then that silver would really pop. But I'm gonna go in with some Roll On Shimmer from NYX. So this is gonna really make this pop. Just like a ton of glitter. I'm all about glitter these days. So I'm just gonna pop some on and I'm just gonna pat it around with my finger. And you know, a little bit more. More glitter never hurt anyone. Wise person told me, when in doubt, just add glitter. And then we can take off this. <laughs> you can't do your eyeliner with these on, but the post-its, you know, I'm not gonna say the post-its work the best for this, but if you have tape, that'll work. So I'm just gonna take a little makeup wipe that I've been holding on to down here and just clean up anything underneath here. And see how we have these nice crisp lines now to work with? Oh, so crisp. I'm gonna do my face as normal as I always do. My Laura Mercier primer and then a little bit of concealer just underneath my eyes and on this little, this little friend I have right here. So just a little bit of the primer. Rub that everywhere on my face just to give me a nice like luminous glow. And I have a little dollop of my uh, Hard Candy Glam Flage Concealer. And I'm just gonna go in with the Beauty Blender. This is my favorite way to do this, but I always apply it underneath my eyes, just with my middle, not my middle finger, my ring finger, and wherever I need it. And then I just blend it in with my Beauty Blender. And my Beauty Blender is wet. Like I said, they are designed to be used wet. And I'm just gonna follow this little line here. See how crisp that line is? Ooh, so crisp. I'm just blending that out to the best of my ability there. I'm gonna go back in with a highlight now. I'm gonna use this white color from the Hollywood palette here. Okay, next comes eyeliner and I'm using my uh, Urban Decay 24 hour liquid eyeliner. It's waterproof and it's in the shade Perversion. That was something to be memorized. Really important to shake this up first. And I'm just gonna be doing a wing and it's going to follow these lines. I'm gonna start on the outside. Ugh, this is what happens with this little stopper. Gosh, every single time. Ugh. Okay, I fixed it, there we go. committed to this eyeliner so I have two giant wings now but I mean that's what I wanted I'm going to curl my um, eyelashes and then apply some doll eye mascara from NYX I have been loving this mascara it is amazing so I'm gonna apply a little bit of that and then we're gonna get some lashes as well this curler this lash curler is actually really nice it's, it's really comparable to the Shuu Mora one and yeah this mascara it's not a wand that I would usually go for, but it's really close to like a Lancome formula. And it's super nice. This is like one coat. It's amazing. I'm gonna go in with these eyelashes from NYX. These are the Rebel Lashes. I thought they would just be really nice and PC. And I'm gonna go and do my uh, under eye now. I'm gonna start with the purple on the outside and then blend it into a little bit of pink on the inside. It's kind of like an ombre thing. Be very careful because I don't want any fallout. So just blending that in about like, I don't know, a third, a third and a half? What's in between a third and a half? Comment down below. And then I'm just gonna take some glitter and just place it on the inner corner and like blend it in with my fingers. So much glitter. Um, and then on my bottom lashes, I'm going to put a little bit more mascara. So here I have a NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On. Definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. And I'm going to tight line and do my waterline in this just to fill in any gaps here. Uh, my eyes always water. 
I'm gonna move on to contouring a wee bit now and I'm going to use my it's the makeup forever sculpting kit and this is in the uh, I think it was number two but it's rubbed off now you have a highlight shade and then a contour shade the shade is really ashy and it works great with my skin this is what I normally use as a contour on my face and I love taking it on this brush that came with a hula bronzer because it's just it's a nice shape there I love this brush it's so handy to have like normal going like right in there and I'm going to do a lot a lot of contouring because I love it I love it just get that really chiseled out and then going back into this palette from BH Cosmetics there are a ton of beautiful beautiful blushes I think I'm gonna do a mixture of like all three of these together because I kind of want I want a mixture of all of them, so I'm just gonna muck, muck around and see what I come up with here. This one does have a shimmer to it, um, and that's gonna be really beautiful. So I'm just gonna, you know, go in with all three here, literally all three, and just blend that up into that contour. Oh yeah, I like that color. I don't think I was recording during that. Oh, I don't know what we recorded. For my highlight, what I used was these My Couture, um, this is a trio, um, like a diamond trio. It has a highlight and then two blushes. So you get a beautiful highlight color and then a corally blush and then more of a pinky blush. And the highlight color I used was Crystal Cove and that's what it looks like. Um, this one. And I like to just wrap it around my pointer finger like this and then just give it a go on the highlight of my cheek there down my bridge of my nose and then on the cupid's bow so that's where i got for my lips i'm gonna keep them neutral i'm gonna go in with mac pink plaid as my lipstick i love this lipstick if you've been here for a while you know i love me some pink plaid just a quick little go of that that is a matte lipstick i'm not gonna keep it matte because you know when in rome i'm gonna go in with this model co lip gloss in the shade strip tease this is an ultra shine lip gloss it has a little mirror there which is really neat so you can like look at it and yeah that's from model co i'm just gonna it smells like strawberries like a strawberry milkshake i'm just gonna go over that with a little bit of the gloss yeah and then i think that that's pretty much it Ooh. so that's that i hope you guys like this little makeup tutorial very bright very fun um, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. It's BaileyBeautyXO, as well with Facebook and Twitter. It's all BaileyBeautyXO, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!